Hey everyone, welcome back to the Project Pet podcast, a podcast where we talk about dog walking, uh, about what we're doing at Project Pet, and yeah, anything really to do with dog walking, to be honest. So um, in today's video, uh, or in today's podcast episode anyway, we've had this, um, we do the podcast in video form and in audio form, so you can check it out on YouTube. Uh, you might be watching on YouTube now, or you can check it out on uh, Anchor or Spotify or iTunes. So I wanted to talk about something uh, something that we're implementing um, this year in 2020. So I'm filming this video or this podcast episode uh, beginning of January. And uh, yeah, something really exciting that we're implementing um, that I've been working on for a little while. So some of you may know, or you know, some of you may not know, um, we're actually a eco-friendly dog walking company. So um, at the moment, uh, we use electric vans to pick up and drop off your dogs. Um, so we don't use diesel or petrol um, fuel vans or anything like that. Um, the reason I went into doing that, I had the plan for a couple of years actually. I made like a, a presentation, PowerPoint presentation, and it was just sat there for a while. Um, but I planned it all out. And then one day my, uh, my van, this rubbish uh, diesel old van thing, um, just it, it, it kept breaking down, didn't it, Jesse? Just I've got my girlfriend over there, but yeah, it just kept breaking down, and it just got to the point. I was like, right, stuff it. I'm just going to go ahead with the plan that I've had for a while. Uh, so yeah, we we went and um, got the first electric van, and um, yeah, the business has really picked up. But I wanted to, you know, do something that was because I it's basically I'd seen a few other um, dog walking companies cropping up buying electric vans. And we're the first, or supposedly the first, in the UK's first eco-friendly dog walking company. So there isn't another, there wasn't when I first started it, another dog walking company using electric vans, uh, unless they were sort of, you know, they weren't advertising it or they hadn't put any pictures out anywhere. Um, so I assume that we were the first and I still believe we're the first. Um, but I wanted to go a little, you know, a step further, not just keeping it to do with the electric vans, but how else can we be environmentally friendly, um, you know, promote, uh, uh, climates, um, the climate crisis, basically. And one thing I wanted to do is, uh, well, I looked into, you know, what is the best way to fight climate change? And I've had a lot of people argue with me that electric vans aren't the way forward. Um, they're actually bad for the environment. And there's actually a, an argument, you know, the, the batteries are made, um, they're really, really bad for the environment when they're made. So it, get, it it made me start thinking on, you know, what else could I do? Because um, obviously with the vans, they're not producing um, you know, any, uh, uh, you know, fossil fuels or anything like that. So long term, they're better. But it's just that short term thing just really annoyed me about the battery. And one of my clients actually kept uh, annoying me about it. So um, kept making a joke about it. But it is true. So um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, each client that pays for one dog walk at the moment it's in my head it's for one dog walk um we're going to be planting a tree so not literally myself but we'll be donating it's 10 um it's one dollar um per one tree planted so each walk that you know any of my clients that are watching this or listening to this um every dog walk that you pay for so we charge uh, around about 13 pounds an hour um a dollar of that each walk will be donated to, um, it's called Earth Day Network. I don't need to check that. Uh, Earth Day Network, I can't, it's not in my head, I can't remember what it is. Uh, it's, on the web, it's on my website, so um, Earth Day Network, I think it is. Um, I know you've got the Woodlands Trust as well, um, but I've gone with a different organization. And yeah, so $1 um, plants one tree. And I think it would be a really cool idea to, you know, over, now it's obviously beginning of January, to see how many plants um, how many sorry trees we can plant um, at the end of this year? I uh, just think that'd be a really cool thing to you know tell the clients, and uh, also I think it's good for you know for, the, for everyone. It's in the news at the moment, you know, climate change. You know, the the whole thing that happened in London, um, which I was actually at for one of the days. It was crazy, but just it's it seems to be uh, all over the media at the moment, and everyone is trying to do you know a lot of people are trying to do something you know whether that's recycle or get electric vehicle uh, whatever it may be to contribute to you know making uh, the planet uh, a better place and um yeah what i wanted to i've gone off track on what i was meant to say there 
Um, but I just wanted to take it that step further and, and I think it's, oh, I know where it's going. So I think it's, it's good for the client to, you know, feel like they're contributing to helping the climate without actually having to do much. You know, they're still having their dog walks, everything is still the same. Um, but the only difference is some of that, that money that would normally just come to us um, would be spent on planting a tree. Uh, however many trees that may be, you know, we've got clients that do you know, have walks five days a week. So you can you know, add that up over a year. That's going to be a lot of trees that are planted. Um, well, it's 20, 20, uh, 20 trees um, a month, yeah. Which is a, that's better than zero trees that have been planted. So uh, that's just what I wanted to mention in this podcast today. And uh, it's only going to be a short one. But uh, it'd be interesting to hear your any, you know, your feedback on this, uh, any clients as well. I think I've, you know, I've spoken to most of my clients about this, um, this idea or some of you anyway, and um, it's going to be happening very, very soon. Um, I just want to make sure I've got everything in place with uh, Earth Day Network. I've got the, I hope I've got the name correct on here. Um, everything in place with that and, um, you know, working out with the numbers as well. But uh, yeah, really, really excited to put this in place and have this ready for 2020. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this uh, episode at that. Uh, thanks for listening or thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode um, for the Project Pet podcast.